back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Neda and I am an Emirates cabin crew. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm already in my uniform. I do everything that has to do with skincare, beauty, makeup, traveling, lifestyle, pretty much that. Anyways, hope you guys are fine. Hope you guys are doing well. Without further ado, let's just jump to the video. Okay, so the video is gonna be what's in my work emirates work bag yeah what's in my bag so yeah this is the bag so um i think everyone knows that this is pretty much emirates bag we have to have this one in every single flight that we do and every single um recurrent so guys i just wanted to jump here really quickly to explain to you what a recurrent means um a recurrent is what each cabin crew member must receive yearly um, um, as a training to maintain the level of proficiency and refresh their knowledge and skills of all normal and emergency situations. Um, this training includes both aircraft type specific and operator training elements and consists of theoretical and practical training modules. For pretty much every time we're in uniform we have to carry this one with us plus a cabin bag. You've seen it before in some of my videos. If you haven't, you can click on those videos and you'll know how Emirates Cabin Bag looks like. So yeah, you have to carry this one pretty much, not pretty much, like all the time you're in uniform and also the cabin bag. As for the suitcase, that is one that you carry only when you have a layover, aka you're gonna be staying outside of Dubai. Let's show you what's in my bag. I think, I think my bag is like the heaviest bag i don't think i've ever seen any of the crew having a bag as big as mine i mean we have the same size but gosh i put so many stuff in here so this is what the bag looks like um there's the big lock you just have to open it and then there is a tiny um pocket in the back here which i have nothing in it i usually put my phone in there I don't have it now and then the main one you open it and there are one two three four there are four sections and in the middle the one here has a zip so I'll start with the first one um, the first one I have my notebook where I put like all of our tags and stuff we put oh, it's almost full i need to go and get another one it is almost full i only have a few pages left and um yeah we put like all the details of the flight like the aircraft registration um i put my position the flight timing and everything else so yeah i'm almost done i need to get a new one um that what was in here it's just some personal information and this is a arabic pa um then i have my id i don't think i should be showing you that one so let me actually just put it because i need to leave soon uh then i have this wallet where i have all of my work um cards and also my passport you know all the things that we have to show to our seniors before the flight during the briefing um so yeah i have my two passports in here yay um and i have my vaccination my aviation medical certificate and then i have my um flight cabin attendant license and my safety and emergency procedure certificate so um yeah, I need to have all of these. You have to show them like every time you go to a briefing room, whether you have a layover or you have a turnaround. I keep them here. Then, let me actually put these back. Okay, so that is everything I have in the first one. The second one, whoa, okay. The second one, I have my keys and then I have my my earphones and i have 
I have my favorite protein bar. <laughs> that is Quest. And my favorite would be the chocolate chip cookie dough. Also, the peanut butter one. I love the chocolate peanut butter one. So those two are my favorite, my favorite uh, flavors. And yeah, they're like four grams net carbs and 21 grams of protein. Just in case I feel like snacking on something, this is a healthy option. And I don't have to snack on those cookies that we have on board and stuff. So then oh, I have two lipsticks that I had here since like a long time ago, but I uh, didn't remove them, but they're here just in case. Um, we don't use them obviously because um, we put a mask so we don't need to put a lipstick. Then what else I have here? Oh, a burn gel. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The story of this burn gel, not a good story. It happened to me when I was in Stockholm and you can actually see here, it says made in Sweden. Um, it happened to me in <laughs> Stockholm, an iron fell on me and it burned my arm and my thigh. Actually, you can still see, I don't know if you can see the scar here, but yeah. And then I, it was right before the wake up call and I had to go and run to a pharmacy to get something. So yeah, lesson learned. Then I have a hand sanitizer um, and what else? Yeah, I have a, floss, a dental floss, just in case. And what else I have here? I have some perfumes. Like, I uh, I don't take the big one. I just keep these small ones. They're kind of like very helpful and they, do they don't take a lot of space in my bag, especially that my bag is pretty much full. And yeah, I have like some of my favorite uh, perfumes. Um, just some. My favorite is not actually here. I have Tom Ford Metallic, um, Twilly from Hermes, and Libre from YSL. Oh, yes. And also, oh yeah, I, I'm not gonna take these out because they're just a lot, but I have like a bunch of pens right there. You never know. You need pens all the time. So, yeah, I have like a bunch of them there. Then, I'm just gonna take this one back in here. Then on the third section, oh, third section, yeah, that's a zip, so I'm just gonna open it. I have a bunch of face masks. We use the white one for work and these one for layover. I keep uh, pretty much a, a bunch of them. And then I have teas. I, I'm a big fan of black tea or English tea, so I have quite some. I kind of like, um, it's a collection of teas, I would say. <laughs> yeah, I have like a bunch of them in here. And then, what else? Yeah, I have a bunch of pens again. So, yeah. You always have need to have extra pens. In my case, it's a lot. Okay, that is it for the third one. The fourth one is this one here. Um, I have, oh, I love this one. Um, this is a, well, I use it as a mirror, but before it was a bronzer and that is Marc Jacobs bronzer. Oh, I used to love this bronzer, honestly, but I'm out. So I just washed it and now I use the mirror, which is right here. And it's really helpful because you can just, um, close it and it goes it's really really thin and you just tuck it inside it's very like really good mirror i love it i love the size i love how fact the fact that i can just close it and then get it in it's very thin as you guys can see it's just it's very handy it is very handy so i love this one and i love the bronzer too um then i have a bunch of hand creams I have this one, which I got from Germany. This one I got, <laughs> this one I got from a colleague that actually, she gave it to me. Um, she, I borrowed a hand cream from her and I really loved the smell and I was like, oh gosh, it smells so nice. Where did you get it from? And then she just gave it to me. She was like, yeah, take it. So yeah, she was super nice. Um, and then I have this one, which is the, from the body shop. 
and his British rose. Oh, it smells so nice. Yeah, I always need a lot of hand creams. Um, and then I have a lip therapy from Vaseline. I just keep this one in there. Then, oh, I have my holly book in here. This is a holly book and um, my grandmother gave it to me and I always keep it in my bag. Okay. Um, and she also gave me this one that I keep. So yeah, they remind me of her. Um, and then let's see, we have a bunch of stuff here. This is a refreshing towel. Um, I keep uh, this Ultima electrolyte mix. I just mix it with water. Just need, like I need some electrolytes. And then I have some fragile um, stickers, just in case I need them for my bag, which I'll probably will need now since my suitcase is pretty full and I need to stick one of these in there. Um, and then I have like some band-aids, more band-aids, more band-aids from CVS, and a cutlery, just in case I need it. I was eating in the hotel room or something. And then I have some antiseptic wipes, and a small envelope. I know this one is doing hair, but I just keep it. You never know. Yeah, I'm just gonna put these back. Yeah, and then, oh, I forgot this one. There is a very small zip here in the back, and all I have in there is like some hair bands and this famous Emirates. Um, band that I don't use because I do the French roll so I don't need it and I just keep it in there just in case I change my mind and I decide to do a bun then I would have that one and then I have like more what do you call them oh my god um hair bands hair bands hair bands hair nets more hair bands and bobby pins and stuff like that just in case I need them for yeah for my hair Oh my god and that is it <laughs> i can't believe we're done well so yeah like hmm. it's gonna take me quite some time to close this right that was a very easy short video okay talking about short it says 16 minutes but <laughs> i'll try to make it as short as i can um <laughs> that is my wake up call so yeah that's in what uh, what's in my bag um, I still actually have like, I don't carry, I know you're probably thinking I'm not carrying any makeup in there or something, but um, I usually put my makeup bag in my cabin bag and I also have like tons of stuff in there. So perhaps I will show you in another video what's in my cabin bag and what I pack in my cabin bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for the support and for the likes and for the comments again. And yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you again next time. Bye.